Hi everyone, it's Alexis Hasselberger, Time Management and Productivity Coach here. Today, I want to talk about not being productive. It is totally okay to have unproductive days, whether we're in a global pandemic or not. You know, sometimes we have planned unproductive days where we are going to take a little time off in the middle of the day, do something um, either with our families or maybe we got to take our kids to the doctor that we know is going to be a less productive day. It's also totally okay to wake up in the morning and just not be feeling it. Um, just know that, you know, it's not going to be that productive that day. Sometimes when that's happening to me, I wake up and, you know, maybe I've been at my computer for an hour. I'm not really making any progress. I'll just name that feeling. I'll just say, you know what? It is, it's not going to be productive today. I'm not going to have a productive day. And that's just okay. And that kind of lets me get rid of some of that negative feeling around it. Because the reality is that it's rarely two days in a row that, um, that I'm having really a but also, it's okay to have unproductive days right now in the middle of a pandemic because we need to change what productivity really means to us right now. You know, it is okay if you're not getting done as much as you planned. It is okay if your plans aren't working out. It is okay if you created a schedule and that schedule doesn't work. All of this stuff is okay because we're living through something that's very different than we have before. You know, there have been a lot of things that I've had to iterate and change on over the last few weeks. You know, at first I thought, oh, well, that's not going to be that different for me productivity-wise. I work from home anyways all the time. But the reality is, it is very different for me. Now I've got a bunch of other people in the house. And even if I have a tightly packed schedule, there's just a lot more um, times during the day where there's casual conversation happening or somebody needs me for things. And so I've had to learn to build more buffer into my day and expect less out of myself productively each day. I've had to lower the bar a little bit, and I bet you will too. If there's ever a time to lower the bar, it's now. Uh, and so a couple of things that could help you when you're trying to figure out, you know, what, what is productive? What does that mean to you right now? For me, it's really thinking about, okay, what is the, the kind of bare minimum things that need to happen for me to feel productive? So instead of looking at a list of 100 things, I'm going to look at my list and say, okay, what can I knock off? What can I knock off? What can I knock off? Until I get to the, you know, three or four things that really have to get done today. It's going to be different for everyone. You know, for some people, it's like just getting food on the table, like getting your bills paid. For some people, it's going to be like turning in that one work assignment that you really need to get in this week. Um, you really need to think about ruthless prioritization right now, because while we never get everything done, right now we're getting less done than we had probably imagined. And so it's okay to recognize that, to accept it, and then to just get really ruthless with the prioritization, because you know you're not going to be able to accomplish 25 things. We want to get back to that concept of task realism, where if we can only accomplish three things today, I would much rather only have three things on my list, because then when I accomplish them, I'm going to feel good about it. If I have 10 things on my list and I know in my heart of hearts that I'm only getting to three of them, well, I still feel bad at the end of the day because I didn't get all 10 done. But you know what? I was never going to get all 10 done. So I'm just going to start with the prioritization, winnow it down to three right now. Now three, that's an arbitrary number. Pick whatever works for you. But I really want you to be thinking about how it is okay to have unproductive days, to be less productive than you planned, to be less productive than you'd hoped for, to iterate and experiment on what's working for you and your family in this time at home, to be lowering the bar, to be moving the goalposts, all of this 100% okay. It's a natural reaction to what's happening.